So there was this thing, chat. We're in GTA 5, if you know the story. Michael was actually in witness protection. Michael makes a movie called Meltdown. It's a significant part of the story. And despite having played the single player for over 8,500 hours, I have never actually seen the movie Meltdown. I only learned like a few months back that it's actually a movie that you can see in the game. Apparently it's like 15 minutes and I want to watch it and then give it like a movie review. Really? Yeah, we're, we're on a movie date right now. You and me, internet. Nice hair sticking out. Look, okay, it's, I, it. Make me feel self-conscious for our date, okay? <laughs> I got a pimple there too. Dang it. There are multiple movies? Yeah, I only want to see Meltdown though. Maybe people care about watching this on YouTube. I'll review all the movies in GTA 5. Yes, I've never seen the movie Meltdown in over 8,000 hours playing the game. I know. I could be missing out on something life-changing. My whole life could change after seeing this movie. I'm, I'm scared, actually. You know, the implications of this movie could be life-altering. So this outfit is clearly insufficient to go to the movies. So we will get a different outfit. Wait a second. I recognize that bike. Where's Jimmy? Well, you got lucky this time. Just in case he comes back. Ah. That wasn't meant to happen. Well, just in case he's the next person to leave the house, that'll get him. Oh, there he is! Hooray! He got knocked out by his own man boobs. Okay, enough fooling around. We got serious movie business to do. He doesn't have anything, anything stylish like a black tank top. I know, chat. I don't think I want to spend time making something custom. We'll go from one of the outfits. I mean, prologue, Michael? I mean, tux is the most suited, true. Fine, we'll dress all fancy. A full black, there we go. Black suit, perfect. At least he's got a stylish color. Does it matter which cinema I go to? This cinema, probably the best one. I mean, I own it. Oh, you, oh, oh, the, the Vinewood one. True. Okay. What? Now showing the loneliest robot. That's not what I want to see. Wait. Uh, okay, we'll go to a different cinema then. It's showing the loneliest robot as well. Okay. So we'll speed forward through time. Time travel. Into the future. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 I want to see my movie. The movie theater is closed. I agree, it is not the correct time. It is magically now nighttime. You look like you know how to treat a lady. Want a party? That's both our losses, baby. I thought she was talking to me, she was talking to someone else, but you know. Meltdown, yes! Alright, hun. Okay. We're beautiful, chat. You guys are a little bit big. You're fat, but that's fine. Now, for your feature presentation. Come in, Alpha Bravo Sierra, do you read? <laughs> I've almost got him! That last monkey's DNA will save us from the apocalypse. <laughs> Don't stick your penis inside it! Why would I do a thing like that? <laughs> what are you doing, soldier? Is this the right summer, movie? Man, the Simeon. <laughs> Rated PA for post-apocalyptic nonsense. Oh, so it's just a trailer, okay. So even in fictional movies, we can't get away from advertising. What is the bit rate of this movie? Is that pixelation? Look at these pixels! The problem with Darwin it's is... the guy. Capitalism depends on one thing and one thing only. A steady supply of idiots. <laughs> idiots, just like you. You're paying for an education. 
What's wrong with reading books on our it's own? the guy. <laughs> well, two things. First, reading is for pussies. Nobody ever learned anything useful from reading a book. True. Second of all, you're not here to learn. You're here to meet people just like yourself and lay down on that same conveyor belt as everyone else. The conveyor belt. I am stinking rich and soulless. What about the fire? Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Awesome. The, the fire, though. Woo! This is fine. God, Mr. Fitch! I loved your lecture. That was amazing. I love how you made stocks seem like totally exciting. Yeah, yeah, and how, how buying a share is sort of like raping and pillaging, only in a cool way. Ladies, make this quick. You're costing me time, and time is a cliché. You think I'm going to take you under my wing and become a father figure to you so that you can date my daughter and then betray me in the end? Well, stop wasting my time, and let's get on with this narrative gangbang. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Listen, I've got a sports car. I'm rich and I'm busy, but nothing gives me more joy than corrupting greedy young innocents. Except I can only take one of you. So... Say goodbye to your friend. But, but we're, we're best friends. We, we, we moved to Liberty City together to pursue our dreams of, of trading stocks. Sorry, <laughs> bud. It's time to say goodbye to you and to see some glamorous images set to power pop. There was... There were only two of them <laughs> in the room. What a twist that they picked the main actor rather than his best friend. You and the narrative back, all this to be yours. Wait, you mean the whole city? Just as long as you forsake your friends and your values. Yeah, count me in. Ah, what was that? Foley. Oh. Foley? So you're saying that all this is yours? All from selling pieces of other people's <laughs> business. fucking green screen. I knew at that moment it was time to introduce a portentous voiceover. Stocks. Credit default swaps, the whole capitalistic circle jerk. Jesus, man, you make math sound so homoerotic. Who was she? A hot, brainless woman to act as a plot device? <laughs> That's Miranda. She'll never be fully explained. Also, she won't talk. The actors' union lets us pay extras at half the rate. That's how I got this yacht, Dylan. What's the deal with this? I mean, you. You take me under your wing, and everything's really exciting, but it's also at the same time a little bit creepy. But we haven't even discussed synthetic collateralized stock options, or, or mortgage-backed securities, or even exotic DNA swaps. Oh, you want to have a you want to have a real conversation? You want to go there? You're ready to face the big boys and the bold facts of the world and the way it works? Well, let's go stand in the middle of a park for literally no reason. <laughs> I see something in you, Dylan. You seem naive and in need of a father figure, because yours probably died, or is gay. Um... But you're also hungry and greedy and vindictive, which I like! Yeah! I'm a lion. I eat my young. What? I'm gonna make an exception. You're the son I always wanted. And if you think that this is setting up an event in Act or Two later when I will present you with a clear moral dilemma, then you were wrong. Wait, really? It's happening now. Let's look at some graphs and scales and images of skyscrapers. America really is amazing. Do you know that we're the world's leading country at graphics? <laughs> Listen, kid, nothing makes me feel more alive than crushing a man in business, then destroying a large chunk of the economy. You really are a titan. I am the Archduke of Metaphors. This is the building I from the IAA. I am the... <laughs> I am... <laughs> oh. Oh. No, 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 don't die! No, you're not finished yet, please! You can't die on oh, me! No. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were dead. I can't die yet. My work here isn't finished. My masterpiece awaits. <laughs> what about the talking monkey that we haven't met yet? Or, 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 or the unexplained dog bark, or, or my best friend that got written out, or, or, or the sequel rights. What about the useless VO that no one needs? Screw you. Come here, I want to show you something. 
What are you doing? I packed into every major stock company on the exchange. Wait, just now? That seems like really easy. Now we can't get bogged down with the realities of IT and technology. Just know this, with a stroke of a button on this untraceable laptop, every publicly traded company on the boss sack will be wiped out. And I've shorted the lot, a complete meltdown. Oh, that's the name of the movie. Finally, he said the title. Good. We can use the scene in the trailer. I'll scoop up shares through shell corporations and make billions, hundreds of billions. I won't have this monkey on my back, foreshadowing. Nobody can fucking stop me. I just said fuck, I'm an outlaw. That means we get an R rating. Wait, does that mean that we have to have sex with the same woman and then like watch each other while we do it? Thankfully not. Okay. But just know this, nothing can stop me now. Except me. Yeah, right. What are you gonna do? Fling your shit at me? Not him. Me. Chip! <laughs> you fools won't ruin my plan. We'll race through the city at high speed. <laughs> I've just pressed this button, and now tense music is playing, and there's data moving really quickly. Oh my god. If we don't get that laptop, oh no. good, honest capitalism is dead. We've got to get that computer! Dude! Why'd you let the monkey dry? Because it looks cool. It also probably says something about society, which may or may not be racist, sexist, and or stupid. Oh, shit! <laughs> yeah, they are definitely in that guy. What the fuck? <laughs> Are they gonna land fine or no? Whew! You never did get that diploma, did you? No, but I got something even better, Chip. I got a life lesson. And <laughs> we made a new friend. The monkey. Man, I can't believe I almost lost everything. All because I got greedy and saw one too many computer graphics. But you know what? <laughs> America's about taking long walks it's fucking with green a good friend walking. and just loving your country. It's about apple pie and baseball, and hating injustice. It's about letting people be heard. It's about equality. <laughs> For everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Miranda, Monkey, Dylan's weird voiceover, I'm the mayor. Hooray! And you just saved capitalism from greed and excess. Now here's a prize. It's a song and dance routine, because we all know they don't write on like this anymore. The monkey's name is Chippy? But I know asking about the plot for this movie may be dumb, but how did they how did they stop him from hacking it? So he so he hacked it, and then they chased him in a car that kinda went nowhere. So what did I think of that movie? The plot was nonsensical, but was it was funny. <laughs> like I didn't know what to expect. Like I didn't know whether you know it was it was clearly a thing. It was it was definitely a thing that I'm happy that I saw. The biggest plot twist I think was the whole monkey thing because you guys told me it was a trailer and then the monkey wasn't related to the movie and then the monkey just showed up. Or well, they mentioned him and then he showed up, which was a surprise. I give that movie a solid better than Red Dead Redemption 2 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it, it, it was good. It, it was good chat. I enjoyed it. So if you want me to watch the other movies that are in GT5, be sure to tell me in the comments down below because I'm assuming I'll put this on YouTube. Some weird shit.